Have you ever been frustrated trying to find a notes for an important project and this project lives inside CRM, but the notes unfortunately don't live in CRM and they are scattered everywhere and you can't try to find them. As an example, let's assume that you, you and two of your friends are taking notes and everyone is storing his notes in a separate place. You are storing your notes in emails. He is storing his notes in maybe a notepad in his desktop and she is storing her notes inside a finding SharePoint. So notes are everywhere. They are scattered. You can find them. Collaborating in them is very hard and it wastes time for everyone. So if you're having this problem, today we're going to be talking about one of the five integrations that you can easily configure under five minutes and with that integrations you can have all your notes into one centralized place so all of you can collaborate into it and you can easily find information today we're going to be talking about the OneNote integration like we said with OneNote integration you can easily put all your notes into one centralized place you can easily collaborate on it and you can find the information easily so let's stop talking and it's show time let me share my screen so what we're going to do is I'm going to have two different accounts open, my account and a support user account. And I'm going to show you first how you can do the OneNote integration. Then I'm going to show you that how both accounts can, can easily collaborate into OneNote. Keep in mind, before you do the OneNote integration, you need to do a SharePoint integration. And if you don't know how to do a SharePoint integration, I'm going to leave a comment below to show you the video for that. So now let me share my screen. You will see over here that we're going to have in two browsers. The first browser, which is signed as me, and the second browser, which is as the support user. So we're going to go back to the first browser. To be able to set up OneNote integration, you will need to go to the gear menu, then open advanced settings. And when you open advanced settings, you need to go to uh, document management. And from document management, you will click on OneNote integrations. Like we said, before you do OneNote integration, you need to have or you need to set up or configure the SharePoint integration first. So what you need to do is you need to click on OneNote integration. And now it's going to show you what are the two entities or what are the entities that you can do OneNote integration with. So you will select, uh, let's say, account and opportunity. Then we're going to click finish. So boom, we're done. Under one minute, I think, not even under two minutes. So let's go and see if we open an opportunity and how can two accounts collaborate into one opportunity or two different users collaborate into one opportunity. So let's say that Muhammad is going to go here to the opportunity. What Muhammad wants to do is he's going to go to the opportunity. He's going to come over here in the timeline and he's going to click plus and he's going to say one note. What is going to happen in the background is that it's going to go to that SharePoint location that we set up before. It's going to go to the opportunity library and it's going to create it's going to create a folder for the opportunity. Then it's going to create our node. So we will see here it created our node with one page. Let's call this one as an example. You know. Meeting that happened in 2010, and we're going to put here some, you know, notes and some action items. Items. After that, let's say that there is another meeting that have happened, but Muhammad was not here, so support user was here. So what the support user needs to do is during the other meeting, he can store these notes into one note. And what he wants to do is just, you know, go to the same opportunity. Let's refresh it. Go to related, then go to documents. Inside documents, you will see that there is a one note has been created for opportunity to. What he wants to do is just open that one note. And now this is the first page that Muhammad created. You see it over here. Now support user can come and he was that can create a new page for, let's say, the a new meetings that have happened. And let's say that this was another meeting that have happened in 10, 25, 19, 22. And he can put here the you know, meeting notes. 
and the action items. And then after all of that has been written, he can close those nodes. So if you go back to the first user, which is Mohammed, let's say that he comes the next day, he goes to the opportunity, he goes to related documents. And he goes to open that notes. And boom, the second note is here. So we have seen how can like two people have just one centralized place and all the nodes into the account. If you come to here, congratulations, you have seen how you can go configure one node under one minute and you have seen a demo. What happens in the background is like it happens with the SharePoint integration. If you go to document management, if you go to the SharePoint document location, what happens is it creates another entry. Oops. And inside the entry, you will see two. One for, you know, the opportunity as opportunity entity and the other one for that specific entity or for that specific record and it will show you that it created our node into that location so if we go to sharepoint itself if we go to the opportunity library we will see that there is a folder created and inside that folder for the opportunity we will see one node so we have shown you how you can configure OneNote integrations, and we did it like under one minute, and we also give a demo. If you have any questions about OneNote integration or any other integration or any other dynamic questions, please feel free to reach out to me or DM me. Thank you.